Welcome to Tip and Tell Tech. My name is Keith Berry, where I'm providing you the straight level tips on technical gear, tools, and gadgets. Uh, today I want to kind of review two different types of uh, portable bank power chargers. Uh, one is uh, an Anchor, the 1300 milliamp portable power bank charger that's very common, uh, utilized all over the world. Um, the other one's not so common is a 11 solar panel portable charger, bake charger that uh, uses solar power to recharge. Unlike the Anchor, which utilizes just uh, plug it into a charger on your outlet, this can be charged on an outlet or through solar power. So I want to kind of review both of these different portable power bank chargers, give you kind of the uh, pros and cons of each one, uh, give you my tip on each portable power bank chargers and my towel on each portable bank chargers and what I probably prefer, uh, what I use in different types of scenarios and situations. So I'll be right back. Welcome back to Tip and Tell Tech. Again, I want to kind of review these two portable power bank chargers. First, let's talk about the, uh, the anchor right here. So, um, this right here, um, it's kind of give you a take a look at it, give you some specifications on it. Basically, this is a 1300 milliamp, two USB outputs right here. So, you've got two USB outputs. Um, you basically, they're at um, 5 volts, 2 amps, or actually, the inputs are 5 volts, 2 amps. It's utilizing a micro USB for input power. It um, basically provides, they say, 60 hours of charge for a cell phone, 7 hours to recharge, and um, basically you're looking at something that's going to probably... Um, realistically give you basically about three uh, recharges of a uh, iPhone X 10 and uh, you got basically a couple LED lights so let me kind of show you the status of it so I'm gonna go ahead and give you indications of what you see they have four LED lights so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, charge up I have a LG G5 right here and uh, basically kind of give you an indication how it's charged up and I'll give you some stats on that. So you can see you have the uh, four LED status so it's fully charged. Um, this button right here basically on and off um, charging discharging. Okay, again two USB ports that you can charge multiple I, uh, cell phones or tablets or any other devices, a micro USB device here. So I have this amperage chart here that uh, will uh, kind of show you uh, what it's doing here. Let me pull it up. <clears throat> so if you can be able to see that. So Right now, it's charging up. I have about 64% uh, power. And um, it's giving me about, uh, it says 120 to 612 milliamp charge is what it's doing right now. Charging up my uh, LG G5 phone. Roughly around 630 milliamps is what it's doing right now, charging up. Um, you know, again, they said it's going to take approximately about fully recharge uh, you know they could say you know it takes a few hours maybe less but it gives you an idea how much amperage is going through my uh, cell phone right now at this point you can see the four LED lights showing a fully charged status so very basic very simple um, holds uh, a lot of power for 13 milliamps and what I like about this is it's small you're looking at something that basically is eight and a half ounces 3.8 inches uh, by 
uh, 3.1 inch by almost an inch thick. So it's not very big, very portable, uh, not very heavy. Um, so it's very useful to take on planes, travel, wherever you're going that you might need to have some portable power available. So that is the Anchor, basically portable bank charger, 1300 milliamps. All right. The next I want to show you the Levin 1300 power bank charger solar panel. So you can see it's a monocrystalline solar panels here that um, is what you can use to kind of recharge the por portable power bank or if you don't want to wait that long and it does take quite a bit to recharge this it's about two three hours but I think it takes a little longer than that they do have over here a micro USB that you can plug into an outlet and charge up the polar, uh, portable power bank charger it's got two USBs one over here on this side and uh, one over here on that side here so you can t charge up two devices, cell phones or tablets or whatever devices you have, cameras. Um, <laughs> it's got a, uh, a flashlight. Let's see if I can turn that on here. I think it's a couple. There you are. You can see the hold down the power button and you got a flashlight. I'm not sure why they do that. Um, a little flashing here. I think it's because if you use it for emergency, you lose power. And I do charge up these portable bank chargers, especially when I know I live in the New England area where I have nor'easters. And uh, so uh, I do want to make sure that I have power. So I do charge these up quite a bit and everything. So, but it's um, durable. It's stating that it's a, uh, a dust proof, rain resistant, shock proof portable charger so it's meant to be outside maybe camping hiking um, so it's very useful for that um, I do use it to you know kind of for a backup power for charging things so you do have that and uh, basically it's uh, 6.57 inches by 3.5 inches by 0.91 inch so an inch thick um, device so it's fairly larger than the anchor and but it's more rugged it's utilized you know not for i wouldn't necessarily take a traveling for business on an airplane but i would definitely use it for camping or power outage so the, as the anchor would be a great system since it's small and compact to take on an airplane or train or wherever traveling that you need to have minimum weight for carry-ons whereas this 11 solar power one's great for at home for backup power when you have a storm or camping so those are my two um, portable power bank chargers um, they both serve different purposes I do like them both I do use them both um, my tip for the anchor obviously is that you got two great USB devices a very simple quick easy to use with LED lights so um, definitely use the um, USB device um, for that uh, the tell I wish it had more um, dedicated on and off power button here the 11 solar power the tip is it does have a automatic shut off device so if you don't press any buttons it will shut off on its own the tell I wish um, it uh, basically has a simpler user for the flashlight and um, for that so that's the tell and also probably want to make sure that I would probably plug it into the outlet if you want a quick charge up recharge then put it by a window for solar power so those are my reviews for both the anchor 1300 portable bank charger and the 11 solar charger um, just want to give you a quick review of both of these and how useful they are for travel backup power when you have storms or camping or whatever these needs for charging your cell phones, tablets, or whatever devices, cameras you have that you don't have access to an outlet. And that's it. Thank you very much. And if you like my channel, feel free to subscribe. And obviously hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much.